Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're going through the steps on how to set up a virtual switch in VMware vSphere. So this can be done on most newer editions of vSphere, so version 5, version 5.5, version 6. Um, steps are very straightforward. You can do this through the, um, the desktop client, also through the web client as well, which is nice and easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your host uh, or you can do this directly through uh, vCenter. So in my case, I'm connected directly to a ESXi host in a lab environment, um, but you need to configure a vSwitch, which is a virtual switch on a host level uh, through, you could do it through vCenter as well, but using the vSphere client, okay? So you wanna select your host, you go into configuration, and then you go to the networking tab. You'll see in there, there is already a virtual switch configured, vSwitch zero. This vSwitch contains a number of port groups. So just think about a virtual switch, the same as a physical switch, and these are the ports that are plugged in to a physical switch. This is in a virtual switch. So a port, port groups, etc., etc. all right? So this one has got vMotion, it's got my VM kernel ports, it's got my management network, uh, and has all my VMs plugged into it, all right? To create a new um, virtual switch, you select add networking. Now, there are two types of virtual switches. You've got a standard switch and you've also got a distributed switch. This demonstration is for a standard switch, not a distributed switch. Um, Difference is you can set up a standard switch and you'll have to set up that switch across every single host and copy the port groups between every single switch on every single host while distributed switches can be shared across multiple hosts. So distributed switches are generally easier to use. Uh, they'll require a enterprise plus license model for a vCenter environment. Otherwise, the standard model, the enterprise, and if you're connecting directly to a free addition to a host, you'll be using a standard switch, okay? So in here, we're just gonna say, we're gonna create a virtual, uh, virtual machine port group, all right, an actual port, now in here is where we select where we wanna create a new switch. So you can add this particular one to an existing VM, right? This is, this is the new port. So we're, we're talking here about a VM, VM port group. So to create a new virtual switch, you create a new VM port group. We can go then and delete it afterwards. But we're gonna select create a vSphere standard switch, which is creating a brand new virtual switch, standard virtual switch, and it's gonna add this port group that we just set up, okay? Which is gonna be called VM Network 2. Leave that as default, leave that as the default. Next, and finish. And that is now created a vSwitch 1. Same way, we can create a second one. That's created a vSwitch 2, okay? You can then go ahead and remove the whole virtual switch. You can go in properties on this new switch and then here you can go and customize a whole bunch of stuff. So you can add new virtual machine port groups and you can also add VM kernel ports which are used for management, for vMotion, those sort of things, okay? Uh, you can add the adapters, okay? So at the moment, as you can see, my vSwitch zero has a one physical NIC which is the one that's on the back of this server that I'm using for network for the lab, but vSwitch 2 has no physical adapters. So if I started building VMs and assigning them to this to this VM network 3 on vSwitch 2, then nothing's gonna work on the network because there's actually no physical adapters plugged in. I can assign an existing VM NIC, but obviously in a real world scenario, you're going to have multiple NICs on a host. So a host may have four, may have eight, may have more. Um, physical network points, physical NICs, which you would then go and connect. So we're just gonna say yes. Anyway, let's just leave it. All right, uh, and that is it. So you can, you can go ahead and actually configure, you can edit your existing stuff, you can do all your security, you can do your traffic shaping, you know, adjust the, 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 um, the bandwidth between NIC teaming, failover, load balancing, those sort of things. But that is the basic steps on how to create a standard switch, a virtual uh, switch on a VMware 
vSphere environment. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.